He wanders up and down the Atlantic coast, battling ruffians, casting spurs. Mm. Loved, feared, shamed, but always remembered. Clayton. Yep. Come over here. Grab that barrel. I want you to fill the hole. Not too much, about one third. The rest, we'll fill with sand so it absorbs the impact. Woo! Hey! Okay, let's be professional around here, right? We're playing around. Fit no the sand! I was there. The rod went through his cheek, out the top of his head. Mr. Gage, can you hear me? <laughs> Don't you hear me? The forceps, please. Good afternoon, Doc. I think I got that gift for you. Goodness, the pet. That's a nice part. Show me the hole in your head. Now get out of here, you little rat shit. Ladies, ladies. Up there's the beaver in the creek, huh? Why don't you get thin a little? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I might be broke in the head, but the rest of me is... Strong as an ox, you know? Boy, I don't give a shit what happened to your head. I will have you dragged out of here like a dead mule. You sure are a goddamn buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Aren't you gonna do something? Stop! Get off me! I just think it would be unwise to bring him to dinner tonight. Surely, John, professional boundaries are in place for clinical benefit. This man no longer has any boundaries, Sheila. You're a great man, John. But you're only a man. God, in his inscrutable wisdom, has deemed it appropriate to lay this heavy burden on him. Dr. Harlow, as you must know, the new fiscal year always brings many new proposals to the table. And I certainly don't need to discourage you in any way, but uh, I must tell you that uh, as a general rule, the town council doesn't look very favorably upon new proposals that uh, uh, without precedent. John, <clears throat> what do you propose the treasurer bring to the council on your behalf? Surely you've thought this through. With the prominence right now of cholera in Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia has instituted some uh, public health measures that I, I, I believe would work well here in Cavendish. Phineas. Would you please pass the green beans? <clears throat> Mr. Treasurer, how do you plan to make sure that the, the railroad workers have proper shelter for winter? Well, uh, as I'm sure you're aware, Mr. Gage, railroad is of the utmost importance to Cavendish. So we will have uh, two of our most talented engineers will be working with Rutland Burlington to erect hard frame tents. For Chinamen as well? As far as the budget allows, all will be included. Well, what's wrong, Mr. Treasurer? Is the city council's whore budget a little bit higher than it was last year? <laughs> Excuse me? How dare you? Don't forget, Mrs. Edwards, Mr. Gage has been through some traumatic times recently. Let's get some air, Phineas. Come on. This madness suits you, doesn't it? Sit down. That's funny, 
Crash at your house. I was counting on their support for my practice. Your wife. Let me see that thing. If you're aiming to kill, do it right here. show you how to use that thing. <laughs> Keep your arm up. Helps with the aim. Why are you doing this, John? Doing what? Half this goddamn town hates me. But you? You won't go away. Nobody in this town expected you to live, Finn. But for most, it's almost as if you didn't. You know, I feel that for most of my life, I've battled some hideous unseen wound myself. Never want anybody to know it's there. Fiance says you propositioned her. Oh. Any bitch that would lie down with you, I wouldn't touch with a stick of dynamite. Doc! If boy makes it out of this, I'm gonna take him personally to St. Mary's Hospital. What a bitch. You are done in this town, Harlow. 